Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. And today lecture we are going to discuss the punching shear and flat slab. So first to define the flat slab. Flat slab is a type of slab which is only supported by the columns. Here in this type of the slab we don't provide any beams. It is only supported by the columns. So if we look to this figure, here we will see the slab. And it is only supported by the vertical members, members known as the columns. So such type of the slab is known as the flat slab. Now, why we have punching shear in the flat slab? Why not in other types of the slab? So the main reason is because of the low thickness of the slab. Because of the low thickness of the slab. And also because of the high load demand. Because there are no beams, only the columns are responsible to take the load. So what happens if I draw here with the help of the diagram. So here we see here the load coming on the slab. And here is the resistance from the column. So when there is a low thickness of the slab, what happens? The column punches into the slab column pair punches into the slab and go into the slab. So there is punching shear in this region. When there is a column and slab connection, we have here punching shear. Similarly here, we have punching shear in this area because the load is acting downward and there is a column resistance acting upward. So we have punching shear. If I draw it here, so this is the slab and this is the column. So now the load from the slab acting downward and here the resistance of the column is in upward direction but due to the low depth of the slab here the thickness of the slab is too small so what happens the column punches into the slab so we hear punching shear now this punching shear if I show you in the another figure so we have seen here this is the slab it has been pulled down and the column has been punched into the slab. So we who here in this region we have punching shear. And this punching shear should be avoided in order to avoid the destruction of the slab. So we have different types of the slab in order to avoid this punching shear. So there are four different types of the slab. The first one is the normal flat slab where we have only slab and we have only columns. This is the general type of the flat slab. The second one is the flat slab with the column head where we increase the depth or the thickness of the column only in the region where there is a connection between the slab and the column. Here we have increased the size of the column. So we see here, here the flat slab with column head because we only increase the height of the, the thickness of the column only in the region of the slab. The third type of the slab is the flat slab with the drop panel where we increase the thickness of the slab only in the region of the connection between the slab and the column. Such type of the flat slab is known as the flat slab with the drop panel. The fourth one is the combination of both the flat slab with drop panel and column head where we increase the slab thickness and also we increase the column size only in the region of connection between the slab and the column. So these are the different three ways to increase uh, the capacity of the column and slab and also to avoid the punching shear. Hope you guys understand how to avoid the punching shear by providing the column head or the drop panel or the combination of both. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.